Liberty Fighters Network. 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 Good morning. Good morning. Yes, Good morning. Um, I see the judge, uh, Judge Lidwaba is on. Thank you. Yes. Uh, is Judge Potterill? Yeah. Judge Potterill, are you there? I am. Perfect. Thank you very much. Yes. Mr. Yes. Uh Good morning, Justice Lidwaba. Uh, thank you very much for the Thank you very much for the audience that you've granted me and I assure you that it's going to be uh, to the point and I'm not going to waste any of your valuable time. Um, I, I, I believe that, um, yes, good morning, Justice uh, Potrell. Um, yes, thank you very much for also joining, really appreciate it. Uh, Judge Ledwaba, it's it's now for some time that uh, we've been, our organization, Liberty Fighters Network, has been regularly engaging with the High Court and in particular with the Equality Court sitting at the Gauteng Division. And, yes. and unfortunately, we have come to realize that there is no process, specific process in place to deal with equality court matters, sadly. And um, as I've, in my complaint letter to you, Justice Lidwaba, I've mentioned actually um, uh, this, this um, let me just quickly see um, the uh, uh, one matter. Let me just quickly first deal with the first case. It's Liberty Fighters Network versus the South African Health Products Regulatory Authority. That is a review application. Uh, so that's just under the High Court itself. Uh, we have received eventually a date for the hearing on the 10th of June. So uh, thank you very much um, uh, for, 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 um, for intervening in that specific matter or your personnel intervening in that matter. It's just sad to note that irrespective that we as so-called lay litigants have um, requested a date application in December already, three months have passed until a date has been allocated. And it is unfortunately our position that it appears from my own interaction and experiences in the High Court, and not only in the division of Gauteng, but all over, that the moment when a party is self-represented, he or she is not um, approached in the same manner and respect as what someone from the legal fraternity is. And also the interaction between me as a lay litigant, so-called lay litigant, and the court itself and judges. Um, in many occasions, I have to first have a, a uphill battle to enforce my respect, just as I am also showing respect to the court. And in many instances, um, from what I've experienced, uh, matters are, are quickly dealt with and dismissed, lodged by lay litigants, on technical matters, especially on practice directives. And as you are well aware, recently I've, I'm so glad that uh, the management of the court has finally made the consolidated new um, uh, directives with the intention that both Johannesburg and Pretoria should actually coexist in, in the practice of directive. That is wonderful. Thank you. Um, but unfortunately, lay litigants do not have 
the expertise and the know-how how to use those directives. And unfortunately, it is used also as ammunition against lay litigants. So I would appreciate from the court side that when the consolidated or when the directives are updated again, to please not only consult with uh, legal fraternity associations and organizations, but also approach um, social justice organizations like Liberty Fighters Network and several others for their input as well, specifically to make it easier for lay litigants to operate in the court as well. I'll really appreciate that, please. So, uh, just on the final note on that particular case of Sapra, the fact that a date has been allocated, it means that all the documentation that have been uploaded in December were 100% correct. Otherwise, the registrar would not have allocated the date. So why there was a three months delay, unfortunately, the reason is unknown. Then let me come to the... Uh, sorry, I, I'm, I'm just saying, uh, talking now. And is can, there I, any can, I, can I respond? Please. Can I respond, Mr. Yeah. Thanks. Uh, th th this court is aware that uh, the lay litigants would not have the knowledge of conducting proceedings like uh, lawyers. And hence, we've established an office at the ground floor where lay litigants can go to seek assistance so that they can be presented in court. So I'm just mentioning this to show that we've got an interest of lay litigants uh, at heart. Uh, this court has made provisions that matters that are dealt with virtually. Uh, there's a court which has been set aside so that the lay litigants can be assisted. But coming to the equality court matters, I must first indicate that uh, the delay was caused by various factors. And the main factor being that we did not have a clerk. The act specifically says that uh, there should be a clerk or a registrar that has been uh, properly appointed to deal with these matters. We did not have such an, such an individual. We had to put a lot of pressure on the department. Uh, fortunately, about three, four weeks ago, there was a training uh, which was held so that the registrar can be able to explain to the complainants as to what is happening. And I've also informed them that the equality court matters are very important. We take them serious. I also don't think that the three weeks training is sufficient. There should be ongoing training to these people. Now, the fact that you got a date is because provisions have been made for uh, clerks to deal with these matters. Uh, I can also just mention to you, there's a Supreme Court of Appeal matter because we, we, we thought we could just uh, deal with these matters on convenient basis. The Supreme Court of Appeal has set aside uh, an equality court matter wherein an acting judge was sitting. And they specifically said they need a judge that has been properly accredited by the minister. So some of the delays are caused because uh, the department have got to play their part. And then uh, when we get the matters, we'll be able to talk to the clerk to allocate them. But the challenge that we are facing, let me apologize that it took so long, but it's something that we are working on, Mr. DPL. Uh, th thank you very much, uh, Justice Ledoaba, for the explanation and also for the, uh, for the effort that the court management has taken to address that issue. Uh, however, I just want to bring to your, uh, your attention that in terms of the Equality Act, number one, the, uh, the, they should, the uh, prescribed training for judges has been done away with. There is no more prescribed training, unfortunately. I don't know why. But, but I, think, yeah. I think there we, 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 I don't want us to argue. I've told you of a, a recent... SCA case. That case is binding on us. Yes. Uh, you see? Yes. Th that case, 
I can, if, if you want to read it, I can arrange it to get the reference number. And uh, much as you understood, I, I know that that was done away with, and then uh, we understood the actual meaning that the judge president can allocate a matter to any judge that he thinks uh, would be able to deal with it. But we are bound. We, 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 we call, we've got what we call the president system. If a higher court has made a decision, that decision is binding on us. Yeah. Um, Justice Ledwaba, uh, thank you very much for explaining that. Really appreciate it. Uh, I don't know whether you are familiar with, I believe it's, it's, um, um, it's made arrangements in the Equality Act itself that the allocated judge has got the authority to temporarily uh, appoint a clerk to deal with a specific matter, irrespective of whether that clerk has been through the uh, required uh, Mr. Dibier, let's, let's, not, let's not argue about the law, Mr. Dibier. Mm. It can be, the clerk can be appointed if the appointed clerk is not available. We did not have one in this court. Yes. And, yeah. and I, 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 maybe I'm, uh, Judge Potter, you, you'll also just assist me with. But you know what? Uh, I think we, we are making progress, Mr. Dibier. And if there are challenges, uh, please just write a letter to the leadership. Also, if there are challenges that you find with the practice directive, please bring them to our attention so that we, we can assist. We are here to assist and not just to let people who've got problems go away. Yes. Uh, Judge, um, thank you very much. I really appreciate that once again. Um, it's just that from the reading of Section 17 of the Equality Act specifically, it's specifically... So, sorry. <laughs> sorry, Mr. Chair, we're not going to argue yeah. with you any further pertaining to this. The, the, the court has to function. We, we can't have different clerks. We can't have one appointed not knowing what they're doing. So at last, we now have got an appointed clerk. Um, so it doesn't help you reiterate the rules to us. We're bound by the SCA and as from a practical functioning point, we need one clerk that's properly trained, that knows what it's doing and works with all the equality court. We can't have random clerks. The clerks in anyhow don't have time to do except what is allocated to them. So I have now been appointed as the head of the, or as a, as a on, on a, group that will look after the Equality Court. Now that we've got a, a, a clerk, okay. I will ensure that the matters start going like this. I can promise you. Thank you very much, uh, Judge Potrol. Um, yes, there, there's no use to, to, to argue. I've, I've merely approached uh, the management of the court to address the current problems that we are experiencing as people litigating in the court. And uh, for that matter, I just want to, to, to kindly ask the court's management that um, this specific number one, um, I've got... Mr. Dibier, you know, Mr. Dibier, I must do roll call in about uh, 10 minutes time. So we, we don't have much time you know, uh, for this meeting. But you make, make your point, please. Uh, and you should also be aware that we are not sitting, we're trying to... Uh, make sure you, you are not the only litigant that was not assisted we had about 10 matters that had to be dealt with and we are dealing with them yeah. uh justice the can door, make I, it I, I i i just want to to, to to emphasize that a matter was uh last year allocated to justice malindi uh, equality court matter he has yes. appointed his his own registrar to be the clerk and she had been assisting him with all the paperwork. So in terms of the Equality Court Act, I don't see any problem and even the senior counsel appearing on the other side did not expect any problem with those processes. We are, it has gone on to an inquiry and we are awaiting judgment. Coming back to judgment rendering. Uh, Mr. Dibier, the leadership of this court has made provisions that the uh procedure should be followed. Uh, Judge Malindi could have done that, and I hope that that matter does not go to the SCA. Mm. Uh, 
Um, the other aspect is the one matter before Justice Niyadi, waiting for 11 months okay. for judgment in two, two matters also heard in the... Please write, write, write me a letter I regarding the outstanding that. judgment. I, I have done that. I, I have when, when did you send the letter? Well, it was sent in the complaint itself. So specifically, okay, can you please let's let's not let's not conflate things. Please send me a letter regarding uh, the outstanding judgment of Judge Nyati. We'll attend to that. Yeah. And also, please put the case number um, because yeah. I saw in the letter there was you said there was a complaint against Nyati, but we can't follow it up if we don't have the parties in the case number. Uh, Judge Potrell, it's it's strange because the complaint that I've addressed on the 27th of February specifically highlighted all the six matters that we've got urgent problems with. Yes, I perhaps, I perhaps didn't get that letter. I think I just okay. got your follow-up letter. Okay, no, thank you. And but, but Mr. Mike, Dibier, please, we'll yeah. make a follow-up on this uh, and then we'll, we'll assist uh, with the issues that you've raised. Yeah, okay. um, yes. Uh, Judge, yeah, it, it, it appears as if, um, again, um, the, the people and organizations representing people on grassroots level um, are not accommodated by the management. And that is regrettable. With they all are accommodated. Respect. I've told you how we are accommodating them. They are accommodated in this court. Yeah. We don't send away people because they're not legally represented. Yeah, because the, 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 this meeting, of which is extremely urgent and, and very relevant to, 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 to the processes in this court for especially lay litigants, um, is, is sort of now rushed uh, into, uh, and I've specifically asked for an hour uh, at least, or maximum an hour's time. But but I do expect. Where I, did you ask do, for an hour? Yeah. I couldn't have given you an hour. Surely, yeah. surely the the, the 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 notice does indicate it's nine o'clock. Yes. Uh, okay, they no indicate. But I can't give you an hour. I've got a lot of work no, no, to do. No, I must no, go and do that. I, I do respect your time, and and my 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 time is also valuable on my side as well. But but I do I do do um, take take note of the court's intention to um, to sort this problem out and hopefully in a month's time uh, we would actually have a nice meeting if possible uh, to, to thank the court actually for the efforts made and not to come with additional complaints. Um, the oh, complaints say, yeah. against the, the judges, I will refer the, those complaints directly to the, to the Judicial Service Commission. I think for a judge... We can um, do that. Um, who has abandoned yeah, I think the case do that, Mr. De Beer. I'm, I'm not going to yeah. sit and listen to you telling me that you are going to refer the matter. It's, it's your right. Refer those complaints to the Judicial Service Commission yeah. uh, so that uh, they can look into the conduct of yeah. those charges. Um, yeah, respectfully, I haven't actually heard specifically anything new that I have not heard, but I really appreciate the time and effort that the management has taken to, to just listen okay. to me and uh, have a nice day. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. Have a nice day too, thank Mr. TBF. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Liberty Fighters Network. Liberty Fighters Network. Liberty Fighters Network.